Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got talk, that is real cheap, but it's really gold cost I'm trying to get these ends, building bios with my friends I'm about handling my business, no time for stress over bullshit You think success is an option, I'm trying to get this shit popping like woo. Big moves, my rules Y'all heavy on the tweeting I'll disappear a whole season like woo. Who said they looking for me? I'm a make Hey DeMarie TV family Everything I say in this video is alleged It is in my opinion And it is for entertainment purposes only So it's very apparent to me That the Scots are aware That the majority of the Love and Marriage Huntsville Viewing public is tired of looking at them we don't want to see them. We don't have a lot of nice things to say about them because we're over their fake storylines. We're over their drama. So Stormy, as well as the Scots, have made it a point to decide that they're going to attack bloggers, content creators, because we don't review and report about them in a positive manner. So there are some instances where bloggers report things that they found in court documents outside of the show. And a lot of those discoveries have revealed truths about some of the castmates. Well, apparently Maurice is claiming that there has been a blogger that has reported some things about him that is untrue. Now, in the event that that is the case, if I was the blogger, I'd apologize publicly no harm, no foul. It was a mistake. Um, but more often than not, we're starting to see that there is some truths behind some of the content that's been reported regarding court cases and Love and Marriage Huntsville cast members. So I will say this, in the event that anyone ever makes a mistake about somebody's criminal history or a court case, it's nothing to say, I apologize, the information was incorrect. It's nothing to say that. But I think we all know where this is coming from. We don't want to see these people on this show anymore. <laughs> and they want to keep making up fake storylines and getting paid for it. So we're at odds a lot of times with the Scots and with Stormy. And so they've made a decision to be at odds with us. Again, I am never for defaming anyone's character, misinformation, none of that. But more times than not, this information has been true. There are always mistakes that are going to be made. People are not perfect. So I'll let you guys hear what Maurice has said. Take it for what it's worth. Whomever reported the misinformation, apologize, correct it and move on. It is not going to place fear in anyone's heart to report on information that we find to be true and accurate. And if in the event it is untrue and inaccurate, it's not a problem to apologize for that. The threats of lawsuits, nobody fears that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can threaten to sue whomever you want. That's fine. And you have a right to do that. As content creators, we are all doing our best to do our due diligence to put the right information out. And so that's what we'll continue to do. But by no means is anybody <laughs> remotely, you know, afraid of threats from Maurice Scott or anybody else on this cast. Quite frankly, we don't want to have to engage with them at all because we're sick of looking at them and talking about them and having them on the show. So why don't we all solve our problems? And Carlos King, instead of suggesting to Maurice that he have the content creators apologize and take the information down, why don't you take them off the show? And then we all can be happy. Nobody's going to be talking about them and reporting in misinformation. And we don't have to sit up and listen to Kimmy talk about her sexually pleasuring Maurice every episode of the whole season. How's that? 
You guys, let me know what you think on the other side of the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys soon. guys well I'm, I'm actually here to address something that's very serious um i've recently run across uh, a blogger who's been putting false information out there and i wanted to make sure that no one is misled by this information um first of all my name is maurice scott maurice jefferson scott senior and um if you're going to do research on a maurice scott make sure that you're you're researching the right person I'm Maurice Jefferson Scott. Uh, I do not have a criminal history. Um, I've never been arrested. I don't have anything more than a citation or a traffic ticket. That's the most I have. Citations and or traffic tickets. That's the very most. Never been in handcuffs. My reputation is something that I'm very, very proud of. Um, and I'm going to defend it. The second thing is, I think that we really need to separate uh, some of this reality television from reality, okay? And um, there's an issue that sometimes if we don't see it on reality television, then it's not real. However, I'm an active practicing lawyer. Um, so I'm not going to play about my law license. That's another thing that I'm very proud of. It took me a lot of hard work. Graduated valedictorian in my class and passed the bar first time with flying colors. So not only am I an active practicing lawyer, I have multiple cases and it's not just in Alabama. I have cases that are co-counseled in other jurisdictions um, that states as well. OK, so just want to make sure that you guys understand I'm going to I'm going to protect uh, both of those. So this is one of the things that I want to encourage like bloggers to do, do a little better research before you attach someone's name to a criminal history. It's very important that you do your homework. It's actually reckless and dangerous if you don't. Um, some of the allegations were <clears throat> extremely, extremely dangerous. Uh, attaching my person to that criminal enterprise puts not just me at danger, because there may be other people that were involved that think that now I'm that target. So it's not just me that you might put in danger. You might also put my family in danger. So this is something that's very, very serious to me. Um, even further, uh, I normally don't get on social media and go back and forth with bloggers or try to correct narratives or whatever. But sometimes when, you know, we can't separate reality from reality television and lines that get crossed, then I'll actually step in and address this. Um, so in closing, I'm very, very proud of my reputation. Um, and I spoke to Carlos King earlier today. And you know what? Carlos said, maybe before you just actively just sue him, how about you give him an, op an opportunity to retract their statement? And I'm going to go even one further, right? Because that's actually a good idea. Uh, being in this business for as long as Carlos has been in the business, you know, he's seen all kind of, you know, stories and narratives and everything else. But, um, I'm going to go one further and give you an opportunity to retract. And I want a public apology for those two uh, situations. Anyone that's speaking negatively about those two situations, I'll give you uh, 10 days. Take the stuff down. And I want a public apology behind it because it's false information and you could have done a much better job. And it was called into question many a times on your own post. It was called into question the accuracy of the information and you recklessly disregarded that information. You also posted it multiple times and you shared the information as if it was true. What I will tell you is this. I'm very, very serious about this and you will find yourself on the opposite side of a lawsuit and you'll know that not only am I an attorney, I'm a good one. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock, even if my feelings grind don't stop, got big dreams.